What does it mean to call something an epidemic? This type of language often belongs to the scientific community in regards to disease and often creates fear. We want to prevent its spread. This language is seen in a scientific journal called Science News, which focuses on science, medicine, and technology. In its June 1943 issue, they published an article called Zoot Suit Epidemic. The article proclaims a new epidemic sweeping across the nation, zoot suitors. According to Science News, scientists found that they behave like an epidemic. These scientists argue that when the epidemic rages, more bo boys and girls join the group, leading to potential violent outbursts. Since this article serves as a warning to the United States as a whole, it breaks down the type of zoot suitors into three categories. One, enthusiastic jitterbugs who want to dance to release restless emotion. Two, those engaging with some teenage rebe rebellion. For them, the zoot suit is a clothing fad. But three, there is more delinquent gang formation under cover of the zoot suit, either for general destructiveness or for more or less organized crime. This last category is the focus of their epidemic analysis. Well, it seems weird to be in a scientific journal. It tells us a lot about how an official story on the zoot suitors was created. This article puts people in terms of disease to build fear and lays out how to identify them. In June of 1943, hundreds of U.S. military personnel went on a two-week rampage in Los Angeles, California, attacking scores of Mexican-American youth who wore the zoot suit style. This came after weeks of news coverage that portrayed young Mexican-Americans as forming dangerous gangs. The press's exaggeration aroused sailors, marines, and soldiers to action. They rode in taxi cabs to downtown Los Angeles and seized young Mexicans from streetcars, movie theaters, and street corners, beating them and stripping them of their zoot suits. Beyond looking cool, the suits held immense symbolism as they challenged wartime ideology. There was a clear irony as the United States was fighting a war for freedom and equality when that did not exist for citizens and residents of the United States. Wartime had technically made the production of zoot suits illegal, as the style required more fabric than rations allowed for. So, the suits became a form of protest. Zoot suits allowed for self-expression and resistance that was recognized by the press, scientists, and the military. By wearing the suits, young Mexican-Americans were creating an identity and community while also highlighting their unfair treatment in the United States. Looking at the article from Science News, coupled with an understanding of World War politics, it's clear the zoot suitors caused a stir. Wearing zoot suits highlighted the ironic nature of fighting for freedom while actively oppressing minority groups at home. Referring to the zoot suitors as part of an epidemic plaguing, plaguing the country removes responsibility from white leaders. It shifts the narrative to make zoot suitors the problem, not a long and violent history of oppression.